Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have learned the theoretical implementation of this unit testing we have learned. That means the different types of automated testing available in the JavaScript. And also in Angular, especially in Angular, what are the different types of unit testing available. Also we have seen the theoretical implementation we have seen. Now it's time for us to implement the same thing whatever we have learned in the theory. We need to implement it practically. So for implementing this practically, we need to create an Angular application. So let's create an Angular application. And in that Angular application, first before writing this unit test and all those things, we'll see what are the files that are created that are responsible for the unit testing. And also we will see the different configuration files involved in this Angular, Angular, file, Angular application. And also we will see uh, how to run the test, test cases in an Angular application, you'll see the what are the what is the, what are the things that CLI provides and all those things also. Let's try to see. Now here I am in the projects folder. So wherever whatever the folder you want to have, you can have in your project in your in your system. Now for creating an Angular application, what is the command we need to do? So we need to have the ng new command. Before proceeding to this one, so I want to tell you that so in order to install this Angular and all those things, we need to have the Node.js installed in your system. So Node.js means for it will if you don't have the Node.js and all the things, so you can go to the Node.js website. So let me open here. So as you all people will be aware of this one Node.js. So here Node.js we need to install this LTS version of the Node.js. So this is the uh, this is enough. And also for install this uh, for Angular CLI to work, you need to install the Angular CLI globally. So if you are aware of these all the, these things, so if you know this Angular and all those things, so you will be you will be able to understand these all things. Now. Let's try to create an Angular application. Here I am creating using the command ng new and I will give this one angular hyphen unit hyphen testing. Okay. So this will be your application name and I will be providing this and I will be pushing this all the source code to the GitHub repository and I will give this source link uh, GitHub repository link in the description below. If you want means you can have that git repository link. No, I am not giving the hyphen hyphen defaults and all those things. Let's see what are the things it will, what are the questions it will ask you for installing this uh, new application. Let's press enter. So it will ask you some series of questions. We need to answer that one. So after answering only, it will create an application for us. Let it ask the questions. The first question it has asked is, would you like to add angular routing or not? Yeah. So we will try to add this angular routing. Let's try to add this angular routing. Yes. And what is the type of style sheet format you need to have? Some people will be having SAS or less or anything. So, but we are not focused on the style sheets and all CSS and all those things. Let's be confined to the CSS only. And now it has created some series of files and all those things. And at the last, it is it will be creating all it will be installing all the node packages that are that are necessary for this Angular application to run. So let it it will take some time to install this one. Let it take the time. So now it has created all the packages. Now let's go into this folder. So we have created angular unit testing, right? So let's move on to this folder. And here we let open this one in the Visual Studio code editor. So I am using the Visual Studio code editor. If you are using any other code editor means you can open the code in that one code editor. Now let's go to the settings. Let me zoom over the editor. So in the settings, so here is our zoom. So here is our zoom. Yeah, zoom level it is three. So let's make it as four, so that it will be cre clearly visible to you. Yeah. So now let's go to the project structure. This is the project folder structure. Now here, if you try to see dot vs code, so this one is an editor generated file. Node modules will be all the pro all the packages that are available uh, that are necessary for this Angular application will be installed here. So it will, these all node modules will be taken from the package.json as you are aware of that one. And here is the source. So this is the main application. So where we will be for writing the code, most of the things in this folder only. And for this one, so now for running this Jasmine thing, the CLA takes care of Jasmine and Karma configuration for you. As you already know for the testing and all the things, Angular uses heavily the Jasmine testing framework and the Karma as the test runner configuration. So everything the CLA takes care of you, takes care of this one. So if you want to make a fine tuning of the anything options and all those things, if you want means so you here you will be able to have this karma.config.js file. So here you'll be able to see 
as we have already learned about this the basic things about this karma configuration file how to set up the karma and all those things we have seen in our jasmine testing course so if you want miss you can take a look at that one so here you will be having so if you want miss you can edit this karma.config.js file it will be present in the root folder and another one and another one which is which is the most important thing configuration level it will be is the test.ts file so this is also this file is required by the karma.config.js and loads recursively all the spec and framework file so this one so karma.config.js file also uses this test.ts configuration file also to load what type of files we need to load it and all those things let's try to take a look at them so this is these are the two configuration files if you want to change anything means you can change it here so normally if when you are say, seeing this karma.config.js file and all those things these are only what i can say is partial con karma configuration file only the cli constructs the full runtime configuration in the memory based on the application structure available in the angular.json so this is the angular.json file so based on the application structure specified in the angular.json file so it will use the karma.config.js and it will create the final karma.config.js in the memory so this is the thing what i can tell you this is all about the configuration and all those things so if you want to use the other uh, so the angular also supports other testing frameworks also something like jest and all those things if you want to use you can also use these other testing frameworks and other test runs also it's not it's nothing so each one will be having so their own distinctive installation procedure configuration and syntax so if you want means you can also follow that one all <clears throat> now let's go to this project structure now here when we first install this project structure so the cli for us generates automatically generates one component so that is nothing but app.component.ts file if you try to see this is a component file now for this component we know that we have the component file .ts file and also another one is the .html file and another one is the style sheet file .css file so apart from these three files we also have another file that is nothing but spec.ts file so this is nothing but the test file this is the nothing but the test file so note that you need to uh, you need to remember that the test file extensions always must be in must be with dot spec dot ts extension so that the tooling the karma configuration and all those things will identify that this file as a test file so this is the main thing you need to understand so and also another thing you need to understand is the app dot component dot ts file and the app dot component dot spec dot ts file both are in the same config both are in the same level to say as a sibling on the same project folder it is on the same folder it is there so why we why we are keeping this one as a, in the same place is so we are having some benefits okay so all the times in ang uh, angular so please adopt that to use the uh, component that spec.ts file in the same level only so this is the common configuration this is common thing we will be following in the angular so normally what i can say is it's a good idea and also it's a good implementation to to keep all the unit test spec files in the same component itself why because is such test such test we can we can see what we can say is it will be painless painless for us to find for the spec file for each component and also for example if you are trying to move the component from one place to another place you can also you will also move the test file also and also when you are trying to rename the component name or anything means you can you will be also remembering that to you need to rename the uh, test file also so if the the both are on the same folder and all the things when you are rename the component automatically will rename the test file also this will makes us very easy to identify and also very comfortable so this is the thing and uh, what i can say is this is uh, something like isolated test and all the things you can place it for example if i, if I say if it is a deep integration test or if it doesn't it, if the test file doesn't involve with the component or anything it involves with multiple components or anything means so it is a better idea to create a test folder so that you can keep all the spec files and all those things in the spec in the test folder normally most of the time you will be using this component level only so if you want means you can create a test directory and you can also place that one in the test directory now at the last one what i want to tell you is so now how we can run the test so now the angular cli has already provided you with a sample testing uh, testing test cases and all those things now if i want to test these all the test cases what the angular cli has provided so now how can i test this one so now in the package.json if you try to see here there will be a command if you try to see ng server npm start means it will run the local server and it will give you give you the output of the application but here if you try to see test so this is the main thing this is the command which is the which is which is useful for running the test cases 
So now let's use this one npm test. So you can use the npm test or ng test. So now here I am writing npm test. So if you try to run this npm test or otherwise let's go to the command prompt here and try to run this npm test. Now when, when, when you run this npm test, now the Angular application will search for this all the spec.ts file and all those things what are present in the application and it will try to run these all the things using Karma and Jasmine. So it will give you a exam, it will give you a complete output. So what are the tests that has been passed in the Chrome browser? Let's try to see it. So it will take some time to build it. Let it let it build. So here you will be able to see some of the some of the things uh, that has been Karma has been generated. Some of the commands, not commands, some of the output. So if you try to see the last line is very important. So here it is to showing that executed three of three test cases. All of them got success. What are those three test cases? Is nothing but that are present in the app component dot spec dot ts. So here if you try to see this is a test case, this is a test case and this is a test case. So these are the three test cases that are present in the test suite. Okay. So these are this is the setup to uh, life, life cycle methods, setup and tear down life cycle methods. And now here if you try to see, so now when this executed total three of success, a browser will be open automatically. So if, so here the, for me here I, it has opened in the Chrome browser and here you will be able to see the test cases. What are the test cases that are involved? So here this is the test suite app component and in this one we are having three test cases. The, the, these three test cases are coming from the title. So these are the titles that are displaying. So now it is this, it is telling you that all the three got success. So this is how we will be running the test cases in the Angular. So now we have created an Angular application and also we have successfully run the all the test cases. Hope you understood about this one. So in the next video, we will try to create the unit tests, uh, first unit test cases and we will try to execute it. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. I will try to give the reply. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.